हेलो हाँ मानसी मैडम हेलो यस मैम यस मैम या आर यू एबल टू हियर मी यस मैम आई एम एबल टू हियर यू एंड आई एम ट्राइंग टू शेयर पीपीटी पीपीटी ओके 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 देन अनदर फाइव मिनट फाइव टू सिक्स मिनट्स विल स्टार्ट ओके वही बैकग्राउंड बराबर करवा लागो है कि हेलो केशव मैडम हेलो हाँ 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 टेल मी नाउ योर पीपीटी इज विजिबल टू एवरीवन या या योर पीपीटी इज आर विजिबल मैम ओके नाउ वी कैन स्टार्ट यस विल वेट फॉर जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स देन विल स्टार्ट ओके फाइन पीपल आर जॉइनिंग पीपल आर जॉइनिंग दैट्स वाइ ओके नो
Hello, Mansi, ma'am. We'll start now. Hello. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, madam. Good afternoon, everyone. I would like to welcome our speaker, Dr. Mansi Mehta, and I would like to welcome you all today to this webinar, which is on chromosomal disorders. Now I will give Mansi Madam's introduction. Dr. Mansi Mehta completed her graduation, post graduation, as well as Doctor of Philosophy in Biotechnology from Department of Biotechnology, V. Narmad, South Gujarat University, Surat. Currently, she operates as Assistant Professor, uh, Biotechnology, yeah, Biotechnology, VNSU, Surat, since 2016. She has 13 research paper publication in peer-reviewed national and international journals. She has presented 11 papers at regional, state, and national level journals. She has also published four articles in book chapters. Her work entitled Incorporation of Biocolors in Textile and Eco-Friendly Approach presented at National Conference on Innovative Innovating for Development and Sustainability on held at uh, Navrachna University, Vadodara during 30-31st October 2015. And this paper selected as a best paper and it received award also as a best paper award. And she is also project convener at uh, Sayaji Vaibhav Library. No, sorry. Now, I will hand over the session to Mansi ma'am. She will continue with the webinar. Welcome ma'am. Okay, first of all, uh, good afternoon everyone. And thank you very much for giving me this opportunity and especially Damodar sir and Kesha madam and the university. Uh, and before I start my uh, lecture, uh, I would like to know about that uh, have you ever into have you ever heard about the word gene that what is gene and what its function and what is the role of that gene in the heredity so because i am uh, delivering this lecture in the that tio pharmacy college that uh, i was not aware about that you are uh, going through the terminology or not so for that i have decided to start from the basics that what is gene what is chromosome and what is exactly that chromosomal disorders. So let's start from the gene that what is gene basically. So gene it is. So gene it is a basic unit of genetic information. So see whatever we have our eyes, our skin color, our hair color, our hair quality, our uh, basically body size in some cases that exactly they are the gift of gift by that our genes, which is gifted by our parent. Half that is from father and half that is from mother. So that is basically gene. It is a basic a unit which determines that inherited characters. Second point, that is what is genome. That most common word that, uh, that is very popularized, that is genome. The collection of genetic information, the whole collection of the genes, that is eye color, skin color, that uh, height, that everything. So that all the collection of genes, it is called genome. After then, that is what is chromosome. Chromosome means it is a physical character or a physical thing which is present in our nucleus. See, here it is a, here it is a chromosome which is exactly present in our nucleus. And on that chromosome, there is a DNA. And on that DNA, see, there is a portion of gene one and gene two. So that gene one, that is for a specific character, gene two, it is for a specific character. So they carry a basic information. So that is a chromosome, a physical structure which is present in the body. So it is a storage unit of genes. So whatever gene in our body, it is, a, it is, on, it is a segment of DNA and that DNA is present on the chromosome. See the chromosome. Human nucleus, it contains a 
46 chromosome and 23 pair of chromosome see whenever i use the word pair 23 pair and a total number is that is a 46 chromosomes now what is dna so dna see here dna it is a segment it is present on the chromosome which contain a exact message a codons for any biological development or any cellular form of life so it is a basic structure before we start or before we move to the chromosomal disorder so we have discussed about gene genome chromosome and dna see again i repeat what is gene gene it is a basic unit of genetic information to ye kai bar hum use karenge like what is gene what is alleles and why there is a such kind of chromosomal disorder see there is a difference between disease and disorder whenever uh, we are talking about disease disease means it is a collection of a sign uh, or symptoms by created by such kind of organism fungus and what about disorder disorder means it is specifically related to chromosome and it cannot be cured yes nowadays it can be cured by uh, gene therapy or gene replacement technology but disease it gives a visible character so it is by any organism whenever a disorder it is specifically by chromosome and it is determined by our parent so it is about genome it is a collection of genes and chromosome it is a physical structure which is present in the nucleus let's come forward again exactly what is see this is a chromosome these are the set of chromosome and on that chromosome these two things which is marked in the purple color they are the genes and basically in human roughly 20000 to 25000 genes are present and one more term in terminology is used that is called alleles alleles and there is a difference between genes and alleles genes means specific character suppose there is a flower color so flower color it is a gene but what about alleles alleles means a uh, alternative form of the genes suppose flower color that purple flower and white flower so they are called alleles genes just the color of the flower and alleles it is a different form so basically we have two set of the chromosome uh, for each uh, character see so either it will be a uh, whenever we are talking about flower so it may be a purple or it may be a white so it is a difference between gene and alleles now come to the uh, next terminology let's start about that dominant versus uh, recessive see uh, as i told you ki there are different forms of the character or basically there are according to mendel you must heard about the mendel mendel in mendelian inheritance so according to mendel there are two alternative forms of a genes so as per example height so tall and dwarf there are two alternative forms so like that way if there are two alternative forms of a gene one will be a dominant and one will be a recessive so which one which is expressed it is called dominant and which one which is not expressed in the presence of dominant but whenever that dominant is removed then recessive will express it is called recessive see here there is example c there is a example capital b capital b so they are dominant genes small b and small b they are recessive genes so whenever capital b capital b see it is a homozygous capital b and small b it is a heterozygous capital b and small b see it is a heterozygous small b small b it is a Uh, there is again a homozygous, but it expresses recessive character. See, that capital B it is a purple flower and small b it is a white flower. So whenever in the absence of capital B, that white color it will be expressed. So it is about dominant and recessive. Let's come forward to the next uh, point. Which type of inheritance we can observe in human pedigree? So basically, there is a six forms. There is an autosomal recessive, autosomal dominant, X-linked recessive, X-linked dominant, co-dominant, and mitochondrial. We will discuss one by one that which kind of inheritance or disorders that is found in the human pedigree. So before going towards that uh, to know about the parent of inheritance, first we will learn about what is pedigree. Now see, pedigree means. uh it is basically used to understand 
inheritance in human families so it is specifically for human families to know the inheritance patterns suppose one parent they are suffering from one disease so it will pass to the next generation so in which form it is passed to the next generation so that learning pattern is called pedigree analysis and basically it follows a mendelian ratio and uh, see uh, whenever we start to learn about uh, pedigree or from that starting point or starting parent it is called propositus so it is a new terminology from where we start to study it is called propositus and see various sign and symbols they are used uh, to study about the pedigree or to study the chromosomal patterns or inheritance suppose see there is a certain kind of symbol which is universally used uh, suppose there is a square and it is a blank square it is for unaffected male unaffected male means there is no disorder is found or uh, second one is there is a circle so it is specifically for the female and whenever it is dark see when is whenever it is a dark it means uh, that person is affected either it is male or female so specifically square it is for male and uh, round that is for the female and see these are the basic terminology which is used as a chart see pedigree it means uh, one kind of chart and inheritance patterns that uh, that is easy to find the uh, uh, origin from where that this is origin and see whenever that square and round it matches it means they got married and see from that uh, chart one two things that is originated two branch that is originated means that male and female they got, got married and they have two kids and both are normal see that normal male and normal female they got married and they have two kids that both kids they are normal and first kid that is a male and second kid that is a female female and these are the another patterns like see uh, this dark point means they are affected uh, means that uh, male or female or that kid they are suffering from the disease and whenever it is half see half is dark and half is normal it means they are heterozygous heterozygous means both are not common uh, both genes they are not common heterozygous uh, they are a carrier they have they don't have any sign of that disease but they can pass disease to the next generation so it is a basic sign and symbol that we will uh, see a letter now see next one how we can study a pedigree for a, a chromosomal disorder or any kind of disease or disorder see uh, there is a male square there is a female and that uh, roman number means they uh, indicate the generation number now see male and female they got married and they have a three kids see first one is female second one is male and third one is that is female so from that three kids this three kids that second uh, that, that that is affected and that first normal female it marries to that normal male and again they have a three kids and all three kids they are normal now see from that female from that second generation that female married to that uh, normal male and they have four kids and that four kids first female that is affected and remaining are uh, they are not affected they are normal so by that way that pedigree is uh, readable or it can be understood so it is a very easy process to locate a uh, origin of the disease and how that pattern goes to the next generation now see as i told you ki there are four type of promo categories of inheritance first one is that is called autosomal recessive autos autosomal dominant xling recessive xling dominant and one is very rare which is found that is yling now see what is autosomal and what is uh, xling or sexling autos see suppose human have a 23 pair of uh, 23 pair of chromosome so from the 23 pair of chromosome 22 they are autosomal and one pair that is called allosome either it is xx or xy so 22 pair that is called autosomal and one that is xx or xy it is as a x link or you can say that sex link and as i told you what is meaning of recessive and dominant uh, from that uh, uh, genes which one is dominant from that genes 
if that uh, one character is expressed uh, dominantly it is called dominant and which one which is not expressed in the presence of dominant it is called recessive so these are the examples that which kind of this kind of disorders uh, there are a type of autosomal dominant or autosomal recessive or x linked recessive or x linked uh, dominant or y linked so these are the examples now come to the first one that is autosomal recessive when it is called autosomal recessive and what are the keys uh, by that way we can locate that that uh, uh, family is suffering from this kind of uh, disorder so first of all that is autosomal recessive see recessive that word say recessive means it is rarely expressed so it will skip the generation see as this is example of that pedigree so it skip the generation so let's start about autosomal means that is 22 pair of the chromosome ki usme se kuch affect hua hai so basically autosomal recessive disorder means two copies of abnormal gene must be present in order for the disease or trait to develop see a parent it is not compulsory that parent they are suffering from certain kind of disorder it is there it is there but it is not expressed as it is recessive so in the first generation they will not expressed see trait is rare in the pedigree trait that gene that expression is rare in the pedigree see this is the first generation this is second generation this is third generation in the first generation see male and female they have again a uh, three kids and that female married to that man this female that married to that man again they have that kids and this generation see this second generation in third generation they don't have any disorder but this side see do parent they don't have any uh, disorder see they pass to that disorder to one female so here male and female uh, it is not uh, concern any one male and female they are equally they can affect as it is a autosomal and see they skip the generation in that second generation it shows to that uh, one person and in third or third generation it only passed to this generation so trait is rare in pedigree see they often skip the generation see they skip the generation see first parent they don't have the disorder second it has and third see the parent they don't have disorder but their kids they have disorders so trait affect male and female equally because it is a autosomal and see people with only one defective gene they can be act as a carrier see so because it is found in the third generation and do their parent they don't have the disorder it doesn't mean uh, that both genes they are normal any one gene must uh, have that disorder gene so it is called heterozygous it is not appear but it is there and it can pass to the next generation so how you can uh, find this kind of uh, pedigree or this kind of trait when it is first of all that trait is rare male and female equally they can affect as well as they often skip the generation so it is about autosomal recessive trait see again see and what what can be the reason 25% child is born with normal gene 50% they can act as a carrier and 25% they can affect so that uh, ratio of uh, affect or to carry a disorder is minimum now come to the second one that is autosomal dominant first we have discussed about autosomal recessive second that is about autosomal dominant so autosomal dominant means see the name says dominant dominant means it is that it will not skip the generation every generation they show the disorder and uh, any parent from male and female they must have the disorder and only after they can pass to the next generation so it is different from that autosomal recessive see autosomal recessive they skip the generation they are rare here trait is very common in the pedigree it is very common second it is found in every generation means uh, from every generation any kid is uh, affected again it is uh, it is not uh, markable that it is a uh, male or female both can be equally affected see affected individuals transmit to trait about 
half of their children means suppose they have a four kids means half of the kids they are affected and these are the example that is huntington disease marfan syndrome and this is a chondroplasia so this kind of disorder they are belongs to autosomal dominant pedigree so uh, what is the first sign male and female both equally affected so of course it is one kind of autosomal disease then we have to find it is a dominant or recessive it affect to the all the generations it is a dominant it, if it skip the generation it is a recessive now see this is example see parent they are affected they pass to the next generation and the next generation again pass to the third generation square means a male uh, round it is it means a female and see it pass to the all the generations and 50% of the kids are affected see uh, there are four kids and 50% of the kids are affected this is just a comparison of autosomal dominant and autosomal recessive see autosomal dominance every generation it is affected and autosomal recessive it is rare now come to the third type of disorder that is x link recessive see again recessive means it is rarely expressed but here we will talk about x link x link means as i told you that 22 plus 1 22 autosomal 1 that is sex link so it will affect two uh, gender x x x y so it will include it how it include it that we will discuss now see as uh, uh, i i have uh talk about that recessive recessive means rarely expressed see trait is rare in pedigree see you can see this example it is rarely rarely trait skip the generation same so it is not common in the pedigree male but see here sex of that male and female uh, they will include it males are more often affected than females see males are more affected than females means here male are more concerned to affect than female and all the daughters see this point is very important all the daughters of an affected male are carriers and they are passed from mom to son mom to son means father is not capable to give a disorder to its daughter a uh, to its son father pass to daughter and daughter will pass to son father cannot transmit to that disorder to that son so it is not possible see it is because of xx and xy that gene is present on x that's why so daughters they are carrier and they can pass to the son and father cannot pass to the character to their son so it is a key point of x link recessive pedigree see again i repeat affected father do not pass to that son but affected father pass to that daughter daughter is a carrier what is the meaning of carrier what is the meaning of carrier carrier means it doesn't show any uh, symptoms or sign but that trait is there the gene is there and that gene can pass to the next generation and that daughter can pass to that son so inherited it is passed and these are the example that is hemophilia it is very 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 common hemophilia that is dystrophy inheritance testicular feminization uh, syndrome so these are the example of x link recessive pedigree so again these are the examples of x link recessive affected father and carrier mother now see uh, next one is that is x link dominant pedigree see again x link means it is of course related to x x x y but dominant it will to the all the uh, uh, generations means it will not skip the generation see you can see that this one this one in the second generation in the third generation in the fourth generation so every generation uh, that uh, disorder is appear so trait is common in the pedigree and see again same same point affected father pass to that daughters but affected father cannot pass to that son so it is common 
so it is uh, so it is common uh, for x link either it is dominant or recessive what is common that affected father will not pass to the character to the son but they will pass to the daughter and daughter will pass to that son so it is a common so how we, we can identify uh, 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 how can we identify uh, either it is dominant or recessive by skipping the generation or by number of the people that is affected to the pedigree if it is more number it is a dominant if it is less number it is a recessive see male and females they are equally affected see the so the number are more and see they are lethal means that can happen in this kind of disorder and what are the example examples are fragile x syndrome then incontinentia pigmenti pigmenti and x link rickets so these are the example of x link dominant so we are just trying to pattern that some kind of disorder how they pass to the generation to generation and which kind of uh, pedigree is that it is a autosomal or x link again these are the examples so this is x link dominant and x link that is affected mother and affected father now see it was about uh, it was about x link and uh, autosomal again i repeat autosomal 22 x link that is a one xx or xy so it is about autosomal and uh, that is a sex link now come to the next one which is a very common and uh, it doesn't relate it to any uh, sex or uh, somatic like so it is about co dominant inheritance now see co dominant inheritance means see we have a different kind of blood groups some people they have a blood group some have b some have o and some have ab so whenever such people they have ab type blood group ab ab or you can say that abo type blood group uh, so it is an example of co dominance so co dominance means that father and mother they both give the character and that Kid have the both kind of expression. See two different versions of alleles of a gene, that is A and B, and both they express simultaneously, and it is called ABO locus. So whenever such people they have ABO blood group means they have a which kind of kind of expression they have codominant expression. Now next one is that is a mitochondrial inheritance. Now see mitochondrial inheritance means. see a uh, only a female a mother is capable to pass mitochondria to that uh, offspring so we have to thank our mothers for giving a mitochondria as a gift so it cannot be passed to the father so it is a one kind of maternal inheritance see so it is called mitochondrial inheritance so see and see it is a one uh, it is a one hypo hypothetical theory of endosymbiosis is that that mitochondria and uh, chlorophyll see it, uh, uh, i don't know that whether it is a it has a strong proof or not but it is one hypothetical theory that once upon a time mitochondria and uh, uh, chloroplast they are a prokaryotic cell or they are one uh, one time uh, as a once upon a time they are a bacteria and by time eukaryotic cell they engulf that Uh, bacteria either it is a uh, mitochondria and uh, chloroplast and uh, by time they get habitual and uh, they have a symbiotic kind of relationship so it is just kind of endosymbiotic uh, theory so uh, this is exactly still it is it is exactly it is not known that how that mitochondria is passed to that from mother to uh, that offspring it is not uh, still uh, proper understood but it is so again it is a one kind of research a huge research area it is about mitochondrial inheritance and uh, if there is a disorder it is found in mitochondrial gene so that is leber's hereditary optic neuropathy it is a one kind of vision loss a person is not capable to see properly so it may be a one kind of mitochondrial inheritance now see one more inheritance that is about boiling inheritance see one mitochondrial it is a gifted by mother but this is while in inheritance it is gifted by that is father see hairy ear so hairy ear it is only gifted by father to its son and it is not seen in uh, any female so it is a one kind of while in inheritance see it is 
uh, fewer y link than x link and uh, it is basically pattern it is transmission from father to son and it, it never observed in female so whenever a uh, male are uh, having a hairy ear so it is of course gifted by uh, his father and not the mother okay so here i have completed a different kind of disorder pattern of inheritance like autosomal dominant autosomal recessive x link dominant x link recessive uh, mitochondrial inheritance as well as y link inheritance now come to the karyotype or which kind of disorder the name of uh, certain disorders that we will discuss uh so how we can study or how we can study the chromosome see we can take a blood sample and that uh, from the blood sample that is the one particular procedure by that way uh, we can uh, observe this kind of of course this kind of pattern and we can observe under microscope see by that this is a human karyotype now what is karyotype karyotype means the complete set of chromosome see we have 22 plus 1 it is a complete set of chromosome see chromosome 1 it has a two chromosomes or two set of homologous chromosome then two number it has a two uh, homologous chromosome so total 46 and pair there is a 23 and see the first number of chromosome it contains a maximum number of genes and whenever it is arranged according to size and the pattern by that way we arrange it is called a karyotype a complete set of chromosome and that is x is an xy and y it is the smallest uh, uh, it is the smallest chromosome physically uh, smallest chromosome and it contains a less number of chromosome uh, sorry less number of genes sorry less number of genes now next one is uh, chromosomal disorder so chromosomal disorder it can be caused by two type of abnormalities by number or by structure see as i told you that we have a, a 23 pair of chromosome and every set they contain two chromosomes it is a normal it is a normal uh, natural that which is found in our body which is gifted by our parent and ancestor but whenever there is a, a disturbance in a set either total set it means 46 then either uh, 46 means it is mul multiply of 3 4 5 so instead of 46 we have a 47 or uh, multiply 46 3 4 it is called polyploidy and whenever there is a difference between a set see like that way suppose first set it contains a uh, 3 uh, chromosome instead of 2 so at that time it is called trisomy tri means 3 so instead of 2 it contains 3 so it is called trisomy or if it contains only a 1 chromosome instead of two it is called monosomy mono means one so uh, the, uh, the so whenever this, this kind of disorder happens it is called disorder so whenever this is abnormal pattern regarding this it is called disorder see either it is a hypoploidy or hyperploidy hypo means less uh, uh, instead of two pair of chromosome it contain only one it is called monosomy and uh, both chromosome they are absent it is called nullisomy and opposite to their uh, hyper uh, hypoploidy it is a hyperploidy means instead of two set of chromosome if it contains a one more extra it is called trisomy and if it contains four so it is called tetrasomy tetra four instead of two set of chromosome now it contains four set so this all kind of abnormalities it, it leads to a disorder now see uh, there is a list of different kind of conditions see and most common are uh, which are highlighted in yellow color there is a down syndrome edwards syndrome patau syndrome now see down syndrome trisomy 21 means uh, trisomy 21 means trisomy means 3 so that 21 21 number of set 20 number of set it contain three chromosome instead of two so it is called trisomy and if it is so it is known as a down syndrome then 
if 18 number of set it contains three sets of chromosome instead of two that is called advert chromosome again 30 number it contains patau syndrome so this all three are autosomal disorder and whenever it happens to xx or xy it uh, comes to example klenfelter and turner syndrome in klenfelter again trisomy see one more extra x chromosome is there instead of xy and turner syndrome it contains only single x so it is called turner syndrome so let's start about only one or a uh, uh, few uh, disorders so let's start about from trisomy as i told you trisomy see, it is a karyotype and 21 number of set see 20 number set it contain three uh, three chromosome instead of two so it leads to down syndrome and first time it is discovered in 1959 extra copy of chromosome that leads to down syndrome and see uh, what are the characters how you can identify that uh, that person uh, it carries a disorder of the trisomy so basically see they show the same physical characteristics indicating their phenotype uh, means that phenotype can be uh, variable but these are the common say like that typical facial appearance see, this kind of typical facial ex uh, expression like uh, that is a chinese people that face is uh, flat and broad and uh, they have abnormal small chin skin folds then uh, they have uh, this kind of eyes see inner corners of the eyes poor muscle tone they have flat nasal bridge as well as that protruding tongue and they cannot properly uh, talk or not properly express uh, then they have a short neck and a white spot on the iris and they have a see uh, um, means they don't have a proper height so they they are they dwarf their weight is too much head is too much so these are the characteristics of down syndrome see you can uh, uh, this much most of the kid they can have this kind of see we can say that mentally retarded people and basically uh, they are uh, infertile they cannot uh, uh, produce a gamete and they cannot reproduce so basically they, they are mentally retarded or you can say that god gifted but actually they have a one kind of chromosomal disorder now second type of uh, syndrome is that is a patau syndrome and that is a 30 number in that karyotyping that 30 number of set it contain a three pack instead of two so basically that is called patau syndrome it is it, if it is on 30 number and what is the most common uh, characters again severe mental retardation and uh, small head extra fingers on toes and most common character is that is a cleft lip see cleft lip or cleft palate again they are infertile as well as mentally retarded so it is a patau syndrome next one is that is edward syndrome so edward syndrome it is because of trisomy of 18 number chromosome so 18 number set they contain uh, three uh, uh, pro, uh, three chromosome instead of two and uh, basically see uh, there see their uh, hand and toes they are slightly bandaged they are not normal see they tend to overlap their fingers and it is a distinct pattern which is found in edward syndrome again same they have a breathing problem eating problem uh, they have heart serious heart condition as well as uh they mostly they have mental retardation see whenever person is uh, person have a disorder of chromosomal normally uh, they are mentally retarded and normally they are uh, uh, infertile people and they have very short life span some due to care and due to proper observation that life span can be extend, expanded but it cannot be curable now next one is uh, that is a very rare uh, rare disease there is a prader willi syndrome so prader willi syndrome or it is called uh, fathers chromosome 15 see in this uh, in this kind of syndrome uh, there is no extra uh, extra set of chromosome or there is a loss of chromosome but uh, there is exchange between a uh, chromosome between 9 and 22 chromosome means such piece of 9 chromosome it is cut 
and translocate to 22 number of chromosome and that 22 uh, number of chromosome again they replace and uh, sit on that chromosome 9. So they just uh, translocate uh, to the uh, pair, uh, to the pair, uh, uh, to the physical structure to the each other. So uh, there is no any trisomy or monosomy. So there is only just a uh, exchange between two sets of chromosome and see this kind of disorder can be happen by naturally yes, there is no certain reason why this happens it may be a reason of mutation or any kind of radiation and it leads and this kind of prader-willi syndrome it leads to cancer basically leukemia now next syndrome that is basically related to uh, that is a sex link uh, up to now, that is Edward, Patau, uh, this all the syndrome, it was about autosomal. Now about sex link chromosome, that is a Turner syndrome. So basically it is a monosomy of, uh, of uh, 45th chromosome. Monosomy means uh, instead of two chromosome, only one sex is present. So it is called monosomy. So 2n minus 1 and see again, it contain a heart disease. So only one X is there. It doesn't contain X, X, it only contain X. So that person may have a heart disease, uh, then adrenal abnormalities, kidney related disease, hypertension, autoimmune uh, thyroid disease, obesity, of course, mental retardation and infertility. See, there is a karyotype and last 23, XX instead of XX, it only contains only one X. It lack a second X chromosome. So it is not a normal female. Next one is there is a clean fetus syndrome. So clean fetus syndrome, it is a trisomy of C. See, 23. Instead of 2, it contains 3. See, it contains 3 instead of 2. So extra X is there. So it is one kind of trisomy kind of X, X, Y, extra X is there. So it has a, uh, basically, again, mental retardation, infertile and such character. It is a normal X, Y, but because of the extra X chromosome, such time it gives a uh, female, uh, feminine, uh, 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 female like uh, characters, like a pinch of voice and that all. So here, I think uh, I conclude my session about different kind of disorders, how they pass to, from one generation to another generation and these are the examples of the syndrome. So basically, uh, we have finished um, uh, my talk regarding my site. So now, now session is open for the, I think, question answer and I hope it is, uh, it can be understood and uh, there is a, uh, knowledgeable to all of you that all the listeners thank you thank you so much uh, Mansi ma'am the session was very informative now the participants can unmute uh, themselves and ask their queries or any questions or you can uh, drop your questions in the chat box anything is okay and feedback form is uh, already shared in the chat box. So you can feel the same to get the certificates. You can unmute yourself and ask your queries. Or meanwhile, we'll see the chat box also. And some people ask the PPTs also, ma'am. With your permission only, we can share. Otherwise, we'll not share. The feedback form shared by Tanuja Madam. So, can. Good evening, Dr. Mansi. <clears throat> Yes, sir. You are audible, sir. You can ask the question, sir. Sure. Uh, good evening, everyone. This is Dr. Shabhi, uh, head of the department, 
Department of Pharmacology, Icon Pharmacy College. Um, first, I would like to thank Dr. Anbu Kanminath and Faculty Coordinator Dr. Kesha and Media Coordinator uh, Prof. Prof. Uh, Damodran. Thank you for inviting me. I would like to extend my appreciation to Dr. Mansi. Uh, Dr. Mansi, I, I, I just want to uh, no, uh, since we are in the uh, pharmacy field, yes, so, uh, yes, the, our our students are doing in ph pharmacology, pharmacognosy, and pharmaceutics. Is there any research coordinate with the pharmacy regarding the chromosomal, you know, disorders, which will be helpful in the pharmacy field in future? They are doing um, the. Yes sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, okay. That there is one area to research about chromosomal disorder that you just need to find a drug or that kind of medicine that can just silence the expression of that gene, particular gene. So you can just go for or, or on the model that can just silence the expression of that or that uh, uh, sensation of that expression of the gene. So by that way, we can overcome this problem. Otherwise, uh, there is only gene therapy is only alternative. Oh, it, you just replace that uh, de uh, defective gene and replace with that healthy one. Is there any provision, say for example, those who are, who are interested to do the this type of research, is there any provision to MOU with your university? Okay, uh, sir, I just need to have such a, a, a work on the research paper. And if I find that kind of work, then definitely I will share with you. Sure, sure. If and that kind of work is done on that particular chromosome, then I will definitely send to you, sir. Sure, sure. Thank you, Dr. Mansi. And uh, this is not a question. I would like to appreciate you. So some of the things are new for uh, me as well as our student, because since there is a limitation of the syllabus related to this uh, chromosomal disorder in pharmacy, we have learned what you thought is actually autosomal uh, recessive autosomal dominant or, uh, you know, X-linked, uh, uh, you know, X-linked and yes. co-dominant, co all the things are, you know, it's a basic thing, but, but you know, it is very clearly explained to us. Uh, thank you so much once again, and thank you, the pharmacology team uh, in MS Ramaya. Thanks a lot. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir, for your work. nice words. Okay, welcome. You are welcome. Okay, okay sir. Any other question you can ask? Session is open for question and answer. Madam, this autosomal pedigree you have explained. No, that slide. Can you can you explain once again that pedigree one? Exactly what happened in that autosomal pedigree? Uh, Ma'am, you please uh, unmute yourself. You are uh, yeah, unmute yourself. Uh -huh. Fine, fine. Aut autosomal pedigree means it is basically related to, uh, see, basically human, they have a, a 22 plus one kind of chromosome sets. 22, they carry the information of somatic cell and when, uh, remaining one, it related to XX and XY. So whenever I uh, I have talk about the autosomal, autosomal means it is related to uh, rather than XX and XY. That remaining, like the skin color, hair, hair color, or any other expression relating uh, chromosomes. So whenever the affect to that chromosome, it pass to the next generations. So that is autosomal type. It is not specifically affect to X, 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 Y. And when, when it is affected to all the generations, uh, that one first generation, second generation, then third generation, it express to all the generation, it is related to dominant. And when it skip the generation, that is related to recessive. 
Yeah, definitely, definitely, I will share the PPT. Uh, Kesha, madam, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity. Uh, and ma'am, uh, one question is one question is there some complex disorder where there are mutations? See, mutations means any sudden change by any chemical factor or by any radiations. So in complex disorders, mu where are mutations means uh, we, we, ne we never uh, know about from where that disorder can come. It's just a random. It's just a random. You can relate to the mutation. Either it can come from the uh, any chemical factor or any radiations or any uh, harmful nuclear material. So you cannot exactly, you cannot uh, uh, tell a single point, then it may come from that. So it may, it may by mutation, it may by mutation. Okay, okay, ma'am. Thank you, thank you so much, ma'am. Uh, one more question. Can we include 3D technology in chromosomal drug delivery? In checkbox, one question is there, ma'am. Uh, See, uh, it is uh, it is uh, not my subject because I'm totally from biotechnology. So if you go through that uh, uh, 3D technology in chromosomal drug therapy, then you have to study regarding this all the background. And if I found any uh, one research paper regarding this, I will send to it definitely to you that if the technology can apply or not. Because that is a new for us, that is drug delivery in that all. It is totally new for us. So if it is, I will definitely share and I will find if it is so. We can do a tie-up. Is blockchain, you see, again, uh, the, this is a totally new yeah, a block yes, yes. chain technology useful in this. If I come to this, the terminology and technology, I can relate to this, uh, this disorder and that technique. But definitely I will try to read and I will try to find this research paper that it can or not. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Now, now I would I would like to hand over the session to Miss Tanuja, assistant professor, Department of Pharmacology, Faculty of Pharmacy. She will give the vote of thanks. Okay. It is my honor and privilege to conduct this session by extending a oath of thanks. First of all, first of all, we are very much thankful to the management, Honorable Vice Chancellor and Pro Vice Chancellor for their continuous encouragement and support in conducting webinars. On behalf of all the faculty members of Department of Pharmacology, I thank our Dean, Dr. S. Bharat for his proactiveness and valuable guidance. And we are really fortunate to have an eminent speaker of today's webinar, Dr. Mansi Mehta. In spite of her busy schedule, she agreed to deliver this talk and we are very much thankful to you, ma'am. On behalf of the Department of Pharmacology, Faculty of Pharmacy, and all the participants, I profusely thank Dr. Mansi for delivering her talk. I would also like to convey my sincere appreciation to our department faculty members for the support and cooperation throughout the process and arrangement to successfully conduct this webinar. On my personal behalf and on behalf of Department of Pharmacology, Faculty of Pharmacy, I profusely thank all the participants for their active participation, support and presence in making this program a noteworthy success. Thank you one and all. Okay, we'll end the session. We, you people can leave now. Everyone can leave now. Thank you.